Hello everyone, this is Junaid here from K21 Academy and I welcome you guys back to this session where we are going to discuss data types in Python. So before we begin, please do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on training technologies. And also if you're looking forward for any Python training certification, please check out the link given in the description box below. And before we begin guys, please do consider checking out our Python playlist. If you have not checked out how to install Python and what are variables in Python and some of the basic concepts of getting along with Python, the link for that would be given in the description box below. All right guys, so let us now get started by understanding what are data types. So as you can understand, like we have two words here like data and types. So over here data types basically tells us like what kind of data it is. Like let's say if in Python, if you're talking here, we have like we have numeric data, uh, then we have anything which has string, right? Like you want to represent a name or something you want to add it to a database. So that is called as a string data type. And then um, we have a Boolean data set. Boolean is basically like, let's say you want to have like true or false. So that is considered as Boolean data type. And then apart from that, Python makes our life easier by having list. List is basically like an array. We have something similar to list called as tuple. You can also pronounce it as tuple. You can go with the way you like. Then we have dictionary and then set. So what we're going to do now is we are going to walk through all of these data types uh, and see how each of them would work, how you define them and how you can work along with them. So to work with data types, right? So it's pretty simple. Um, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my code editor and the code editor that I'm going to choose here is going to be uh, Jupyter Notebook. So if you want to understand how to work with Jupyter Notebook, please check out one of the videos about how to install Anaconda and you'll find how to work with Jupyter Notebook over there. So let me quickly open my Jupyter Notebook. As I've already opened my Jupyter Notebook, let me full screen this up and yeah so let me now quickly start uh, talking about data types so first off we'll talk about the numeric data type okay so numeric numeric data type is something which has like numbers like right? let's say uh, integer number let's say a okay and if i put here uh, as 10 and if i do the print or i can as this uh, Jupyter notebook i can just type here type of a you will see this will give me an integer type okay so this i just have to erase it and if i add here you will see here as integer data type now similarly if i just add something like a is equal to let's say 12.22 and then if i type here type of a now it will give me floating point Okay, similarly, you can add up any value that you want, but in general, we are going to consider this as a numeric data type. Apart from this numeric data type, we also have something called a string. So let me give this here. Okay, unlike Java or C++, wherein, you know, if you had to represent a single character, you had something called a character data type, but here we don't have that. Even if you have to represent one word, let, let's say A is equal to K. Okay, it can be uppercase or lowercase, totally depends upon you. It comes under string. So if I just add here, type of K is, or uh, type of A is string. And if I put here as K21, and then this should still be considered as string. Let me show you one more thing about string here. Let me copy this and add it here. I'll remove K and I'll add just 21. Now you'll see that. We have the number, but then it says string, right? So like if I print on A over here, it is 21, but what's the difference, right? So what's the difference between, uh, you know, the number over here and here? Well, as you can see, if I add anything within this colon, right? Like be it a single quotes or be it a double code, okay? They are considered to be string. Even if you have something like a number and you add it within the quotes, it is considered as a string. Okay, so this is a bit about string. Now coming down to a Boolean data type. Okay, so Boolean data type. So Boolean data type basically holds two types of value. That is either it's going to be true or false. So let's say if A is equal to true. Okay, 
make sure your true is uppercase. So I'll show you what that means. If I just type here, type of A, and then if I have Rinanda, you'll see it says Boolean. But at the same time, if I put here lowercase, you will say that it gives me an error. The reason is because if I put uppercase, right, uppercase of T, it is a you know keyword that is there, like it is stored in Python. So it means that it is true. Similarly, we have false. Okay, now you'll see that it says Boolean again. So this can have either one or zero, like zero is obviously false and one is true. And there are only two values in Boolean data type. Coming down to the other one, wherein we have list. The way you define a list data type is something like uh, you use square braces and then you add up any value you want in a list. Now let's say if A is equal to, first off you have a square braces. And if I just add a type, of a you will see here it says list and thing about list is I can add up I I am from k21 so if I put k here and then if I just add 21 as a number you will see that it will still not give me any error and if I try to print this list right if I say a you can see here it gives me this and then if I want, I can print, the, print them using a loop. We'll discuss more about looping statement in the future video. But as of now, let me write a simple loop here for A or for, let me say, for I in A, print I. Okay, so this would basically print me all the elements present in the list A. So you will see here, hi, I am from K21. And this list can basically have any values. Now, if I type here, P type of i okay now you will see what is the data type of i present in this list right so we just have this you can see here string 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 and finally we have an integer value but then the type of a is a list so list basically contains different values and the values present inside need not be of the same data type i hope you understand that guys and if you did not understand this please make sure you comment that in a comment section below and one of our for one of the members from our team would definitely come back to you on that. Similar to the list, we have something called a tuple. You can set a tuple, tuple, it totally goes either way around. So the way you define a tuple is, let's say if I have A, instead of having this, right, let, let me copy the same array for you guys, okay? Instead of having the square braces here, if I just add in this box, okay, this kind of braces, and then if I type uh, of A, right, if I have a type of A, now you'll see that it is not a tuple. Like it's it's not a list now, it's a tuple or tuple, the way you want to say it. The difference between list and tuple is that once you define a list, you can do whatever you want. You can modify the items present in it. You can, you know, just do whatever you want. But with tuple, you cannot modify the items. Like you, if you have defined a tuple once, it stays the same forever. So uh, I cannot have a built-in function like uh, a dot append or whatever I want because it will not allow me to do that. But rest of it, the rest of the functionalities of the list remains together. Okay, so this is about another data type that is tuple. Finally, coming down to last but not least, set. Okay, set is again a data type here. But before we go ahead for set, let me take down to you with dictionary. Okay, so dictionary is a data type wherein it works with key value pair. So you define a dictionary with this curly braces here. And then let me say if I have one represents K, string K, and then two here, Uh, represents 21 let me give it as integer okay and if I put the value of a as a dictionary right so if I put a times 1 or element present in the of that key 1 it will give me k and similarly if I have if I want 21 right all I need to do is element present in this so it gives me 21 so apart from this we have this built-in function called as keys if I do this, it would give me the keys of dictionary that is one and two. And if you want just the values over here, all you need to do is type in values, similar function, and it gives you the values which is assigned to it. So this is a bit about dictionary. Dictionary are 
useful everywhere where you go. It's pretty important concept over here. Uh, just make sure you are thorough with the concepts of dictionary. And guys, as I mentioned earlier, this is just an overview of the concept. If you are keen on learning more about Python, you can check out our free class link before you buy our course, just to make sure, you know, uh, or just to have a glance about how our coursework is going on. Apart from that, finally coming down to our final data type that is set. Okay, the way you define a set is set is fairly similar to dictionary. Okay, so if I just the way you define set is you have set here and then you let's say you add in value. So you have a and then you have B. All right, so the reason why we were getting this error over here is just make sure you add this in the list or you can also add them in a tuple, totally your choice. And then uh, we are fine with this. And if I had just a here, so you'll see that it is uh, a set. And if I have to do a type, right, let's say type of A, it will say you it is a set type. Now the difference between set and dictionary is that first off, it doesn't have a key value pair. And another thing is in set, we cannot have duplicate values. Now, if I try to print A, right, it'll give you only one value of A. Even if you add in like, let's say, let me add a couple more of A's. Let me add it like this. Okay, and then if I print, okay, so you'll say you'll just have a single value of A. So set will not allow you to have a duplicate value. So this is all the data types that we have. We have numeric data type, which has integer, float, complex, and then we have string data type, wherein anything within the codes is considered as a string data type. Then we have, um, we, we saw how we define a Boolean data type here. And then we have list, tuples, and then dictionary and set. So this is it about the various data types you have in Python. All right, guys, with this, we come to the end of our session. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any further queries, please do mention them in the comment box below. So guys, before I end this session, there's something that I want to give you guys, right? So before you purchase our course, we would like you to give a trial to our free class. So free class is basically a concise or demo version of our paid courses. I know the courses are pretty, it's something like, you know, when you invest money or that, you, you might not be sure, right? Like whether this course belongs to you or not. So this is why we introduce something called as free class over here. So with this free class, what happens is you can register yourself and, you know, attend a class for two days and see if this course is for you or not. So before I show you how you can register yourself for a free class, let me show you how our learning path of our course would be. So the course over here would be divided into eight weeks. So in the first week, we would be, you know, dealing with some of the basic concepts like, you know, introduction to Python objects and, you know, some basics of it. And then we straight away move down to looping statement. Then we have the oops concept that we deal in the next by, by third week. Once you come down to the fourth week, you will be dealing with exception handling. You know how to deal with errors and various other concepts that goes there. Week five and six, you'll be dealing with, you know, generators and then how to use, you know, NumPy and Pandas, Matplotlib and Plotty. These are some of the libraries that you need when you're trying to start off with uh, data science. Finally, in week seven, you will be introduced to big data. That is, you know, how to use Apache for big data technologies. Finally, in the week eight, we'll be walking you through, you know, how to build your CV, interview preparation and all of that. I know seven weeks is like, you know, it's impossible to learn a programming language. But let me tell you something, guys, with our live course, you would be able to see this n number of times. And also, you know, whatever you have achieved in your live class, we have, you know, the recordings of that so that you can come back and watch it again and again. Apart from this, this course would be um, available for you for throughout your lifetime so that, you know, it's, it's always there in your hand. So this is a bit about a learning path of a course. So as I've promised earlier that, you know, I'm going to show you how you can register yourself for our Python for data science and data engineer. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly go to my uh, browser. So here, let me open Google Chrome. So for this, what you got to do is you got to type uh, k21academy.com slash Python 02. So Yep. So if I have this and if I hit enter, you will be presented with a screen, something like this, wherein it says free live class. And depending upon when you're, you know, booking it, so you'll have various classes. Usually we tend to have three sessions because we know we have people uh, applying for different areas. Like we have uh, different time zones. So you can definitely, you know, register yourself here. 
so then make sure you come here you can you will see one dialog box apart from that you'll also see some of the you know the, the agenda for that class like python and features python objects and various other things over here you, you'll have some demo session a free grip for those who attended who are attending it and a q a session with the trainer so here you can just add up k21 like, like whatever your name is and then you can add up like k21 at gmail.com and make sure you give your phone number but although that is optional but yeah and once you hit this you can just hit register you will be getting an email address which would have a link of your zoom but let's say if you if you you know if you don't want that if we have this wherein once you hit register you will get a zoom link over here uh, which you can just join up with this at this particular time or whenever you want and the agenda for this would be present over here so you can join a zoom link by this join the webinar so this is what it is so we also have a youtube channel and a telegram channel which you can join over here and this would help you out with you know if you have any queries about questions or something you know one of our uh, trainers would get back to you on that all right guys uh, we come to the end of this session uh, until next time goodbye and take care